Hey y'all, I'm Dominique Green with Puppy Panda Crochet Co. and this is Crochet Podcast Episode 6. Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by. We have finally reached 100 subscribers, so thank you Crochet Ma for Life for sending some of y'all over. Today it looks a little bit different. I got a giant Joanne's um, package in the mail. So I got lots of blanket yarn everywhere. And all of that is my blanket yarn. So you can see right here, we got a couple of pumpkins from my last Hobby Lobby haul. So let's get started. Spooky season is upon us, so I've been starting to make some candy corns. This one has the vintage white the brunette blanket in the bright orange, and then I think it's sun soaked, which is this one right here. So I got him and his twin. They all look a little bit different to get their own personalities. Then I have some in the pumpkin spice orange. I got him, I got this little guy. And they each have their own different characteristics. So like these two are pretty much the same, but they look a little bit different. And then I have this one who just has a line going across his mouth. And I got another little smile guy. So yeah, I got these little candy corns made. I still have to make at least three more of these bright ones, and then I will have 10 candy corns total. And all of this is being prepared for my next craft show on September 17th. Yep. Then I decided to make a pumpkin spice bee. This is the pumpkin spice in the orange. That's like a variegated color on there. So I think this one blends in a little bit too much. So I'm going to try it with the variegated and then this bright color, bright orange. So I only made one of this little guy. Then I made three bees, three traditional bees. So I got these three. All the exact same. Still just single crocheting over the wings to secure them in. But yeah, I got three of those black and white ones. And I decided to make like a little tiger one. So it has the bright orange and black. So it looks like a little bit of a tiger. And my plan is to do some more bees in that bright turquoise right there in black. So, I got four or six more bees to make, and I'll have a, a total of 20. And then I finished this large octopus friend. This is my pattern. I just had to finish up seam in the bottom, and then he was done. But this pattern is all in one piece. All you gotta do is seam up the bottom. Very simple and easy to make. And then I needed to make at least one more turtle, but my mom mentioned that she wanted a turtle. So I made two of these little guys. This is the exact same turtle that I made for the market vlog. It's in like this buttercream of a yellow and the variegated with it. It has like grays, whites, and yellow splotches throughout it. So this one I made in an 8mm hook, and this one I made in a 9mm hook since it seemed like it was a bit too tight. So yeah, I got these two done. This one you can definitely tell on the bottom that my stitches are a little bit loose. So if only they made an 8.5mm. <sighs> if only. So next with this bag... 
I decided to make all the pumpkins that I needed to out of my last Hobby Lobby haul. So it was a total of 13 balls of the Eternal Bliss yarn. And my mom did assist with making them. So let me get these out of the bag and I'll see you real soon. Okay, I got them all out of the bag and let's see how many I made. So with the 13 balls, I was able to make eight of these mini pumpkins. These mini pumpkins are made with five stitches around and five rows up. So each one looks a little bit different. Uh, we got a little Nova trying to get a sneak peek up here. <laughs> but yeah. I got a bunch of these pumpkins. They're made with reusable line corks and the Burnett. No, not the Burnett, the Eternal Bliss yarn bee and some ribbon. These mini pumpkins I did not stuff because they pretty much had enough stuffing as is. Then I was able to make six of my small pumpkins. These are made with 10 stitches across and 10 rows up. They all have their own unique little factor. So some of these, uh oh, I gotta re-glue this one a little bit more. This one's falling off a little bit. I used E6000 glue on it. And I haven't done the E6000 glue yet this year, but last year I did hot glue and some of them were falling off quite, quite, hmm, what's the word? Regularly, I guess? But some of these, like, you can tell that they were reused because they still have the wine look on top of them. So I got six of those guys. Then my medium pumpkins. I got four of these, all in different colors. This one's a light sage. And this one's made with 15 stitches around, 15 rows up. This is my last one of these 15 rounds, my mediums. And then last but not least, I got my large ones. These require pretty much a ball and a half of yarn for each and every one. So I got five of these guys. So this one's the taupe. I got the orange pumpkin. I got one light sage with the sunflowers and these ones I use champagne corks on them so they have the bigger stems but um, any other corks I think they would look fine but even with these champagne corks it does hide quite a bit so that is all the pumpkins that I have for today I'm not planning on making any more pumpkins, but we'll see how these next few craft shows go. I have three craft shows in a span of three weeks, so one craft show a week from September 17th through October 2nd, and the October 2nd one is going to be my biggest craft show, so... <laughs> Let's see how well I can do at those. I'm planning on doing another market vlog for each and every one of those. Um, my videos might be a little more spread apart for the next couple of months. I am starting back at college next week. So I do have to focus on college and not as much as my crafting, as much as I would hope. But I kind of got to graduate. Kind of have to, <laughs> but my next video should be up probably before Wednesday next week, and then I start school and all that. So, with all of this coming, I do have to make some more potty bells, candy corns, bees, 
a little bit of everything. But I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, you having fun? Yeah. Uh, uh. Mama's trying to record. Why do you get the toys? My mama's trying to record. Uh. Drop. Sit. Okay.